With the death of the Archdemon, the Blight was defeated. But the Darkspawn did not simply disappear. Most of the Horde scattered north from Denerim towards the coastlands. And there fractured into warring tribes. The region fell into chaos as the Darkspawn emerged from hidden lairs to terrorize the countryside. As the new Warden Commander of Ferelden, it is your responsibility to rebuild the Order and deal with the lingering threat. You have come to Amaranthine to join the rest of the Grey Wardens at Vigil's Keep, once home to Arl Rendon Howe, but now property of the Order. The lack of a proper welcoming party as you grow close, however, indicates that something is amiss. What's going on? Why are there no Wardens here to greet us? Something is wrong. Quickly, Commander! It's you! The hero of Ferelden! Oh, thank the Maker! I, I don't know, they came out of nowhere! All I heard was screams and people dying. I got out as fast as I could and ran into these... You need to help them. You need to do something. I think there was a mage right behind me. He might have been a warden, I don't know. I'll see if I can't find some help. There has to be a patrol on the road. We don't have a lot of time, Commander. Oh, pardon me, Commander. I'd assumed proper introductions would be taken care of at the keep. My name is Myrie. I was a knight in the King's service until I was recruited a month ago but I haven't taken my joining yet. The Seneschal sent me to bring you back. I was not expecting this. This isn't a blight. How could they be so organized? I don't understand. Other than an archdemon, you mean? Frightening thought. This is Vigil's Keep, which once belonged to Arl Howe. Considering what he did to you and the rest of the Order, losing their lands is probably the least of his family's problems. Varel the Seneschal. He is the Keep Steward, I believe, working for the Wardens. Right, let's teach these evil bastards a lesson. Unbelievable. The keep has been overwhelmed. How did the wardens not sense the darkspawn coming? I don't understand it. Not many. A dozen, perhaps? There are other soldiers who came with them, however. For the darkspawn to have ambushed the keep so effectively, I didn't know they were capable of such a thing. I hear you, Commander. You can count on me. Uh, I didn't do it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Of course. Well, they helped. A little. Before they tragically died. You may call me Anders, my dear lady. I am a mage and, sadly, a wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. So they kept saying, although come to think of it, there's no real way to know for sure, is there? The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign, yes? Isn't it, though? The Maker moves in mysterious ways. Well, tell you what, I'll help you and we can discuss what comes later later once all these bastards are properly put down, yes? Oh, we're scared now! Don't come over here! Ha! It'll take more than that to kill us, beasties! Come again if you dare! Darkspawn showed up, I thought. Just you wait until the new commander gets here and you'll all be spitting teeth out of your arses. Followed the screaming, and sure enough, here you are. Good on ya! Doubting your eyes, huh? <laughs> I get like that after the fifth bottle or so. 
Came here thinking I might try my hand at becoming a bona fide Grey Warden. <laughs> he was here when I left. I can't believe the Wardens didn't kick him out. Well, hey, if it isn't the recruit with a great rack. Yes, a prize for the Wardens, to be sure. I know, I know. Too good to be true, right? <laughs> hey, who's the mage? Boyfriend? Should I leave you two alone? Wow, a dwarf that smells like a brewery. You never see that anywhere. <laughs> A mage comedian? Thought those normally died young. Ah, there are risks to getting up in the morning. I piss on risk. I'm sure risk appreciates it. Well, we can talk about that later. Right now, there's more dark spot around in sore need of a beheading. Myrie? Roland! Commander, Roland was a knight recruited from Denerim like me. We must do something for him. He looks beyond healing magic. Maybe a shot of whiskey for the pain? I like the way you think. Stop joking! This isn't funny! The... the... the Commander? We only had a moment's warning. Before they were on us, Commander. The Seneschal ordered a counterattack, but they came out of nowhere. This one with them. A dark spawn who talks. Ah, his magic... Is powerful. A talking darkspawn? The lad must be delirious. <laughs> There's something in my blood. Ah, it hurts. What? But... It's okay, Myri. I'm not getting better. It was an honor to meet you, Commander. I wish I could have fought at your side. Just... Once. I will avenge you, Roland. I swear it. It has ended just as he foretold. Be taking this one gently. We are wishing no more death than is necessary. Necessary? As if your kind has ever done anything else. You are thinking you know of our kind, human? It is understandable. But that will soon be changed. Others will come, creature. They will stop you. There it is. It seems your words be true. More than you are guessing. It is talking. Well, let's shut it up already. Commander. Capture the Grey Warden. These others, they may be killed. Commander, I owe you my life. Hmm. Soldiers on the road. It seems we have more company. Hopefully they're more hospitable than our previous guests. It looks like I've arrived a bit late. Too bad. I rather miss the whole Darkspawn killing thing. King Alistair. I'd wanted to come and give the Wardens a formal welcome. I certainly wasn't expecting this. What's the situation? What Darkspawn remained have fled, Your Majesty. The Grey Wardens who had arrived from Orlais appear to be either dead or missing. Missing? As in taken by the Darkspawn? Do they even do that? I do not know, Your Majesty. I know only that we cannot account for all the Wardens. I see. At least the hero of Ferelden is still here and alive. That's something, right? Toss the throne aside. Spend my time adventuring at your side, just like old times. Hmm, very tempting. Ah, you have quite the task ahead of you. Really, I'd like to help you fight Darkspawn, but you're on your own for the moment. Hey! What am I? Chop nug livers? From the smell, that's not a bad guess. I came here to join the Grey Wardens, and from the looks of it, you could use the extra hands. Now where's the giant cup? I'll gargle and spit. Ha! Well, smack my ass and call me Sally. I'm in! 
I suppose all are welcome in this dire time. Joining the wardens, eh? Well, good luck with that. King Alistair, your majesty beware, this man is a dangerous criminal. Oh, the dwarf is a bit of an ass, but I wouldn't go that. She means me. This is an apostate who we are in the process of bringing back to the circle to face justice. Oh, please. The things you people know about justice would fit into a thimble. I'll just escape again, anyhow. Never. I will see you hanged for what you've done here, murderer. Murderer? But those Templars were... Oh, what's the use? You won't believe me anyhow. It seems there isn't much to say. Unless you have something to add, Commander. What? Never! I believe the Grey Wardens still retain the right of conscription. No? I will allow it. If... If your Majesty feels it is best. Ha! <laughs> Way to go, kid! Welcome aboard! Me? A Grey Warden? I guess that will work. Congratulations, Sir Mage. I look forward to fighting at your side. Then if you have everything under control, I will need to take my leave. I believe the estate has been secured, yes. We have suffered great losses, but the Darkspawn are gone, and there are survivors. Oh, excuse my manners. I am Veril, Seneschal of Vigil's Keep, and I am most grateful for your timely rescue, Commander. I will aid you in ruling the lands of Amaranthine. But as Commander of the Grey, you are the equivalent of our Arlesa as well. Come and speak to me soon. There are many matters to attend to, not the least of which is the joining. You will need to replenish your numbers. The security of Ferelden relies on the Grey Wardens now, even weakened as the Order is. It will be up to you to deal with the vestiges of the Blight before the situation grows out of control. No easy task, but I'm confident you are up to it. Good luck, Commander. May the Maker watch over you. Before we do anything else, Commander, there's an urgent matter we must take care of. Right now I know of only one living Warden assigned to all of Ferelden. That should be rectified. The others could aid you considerably. As you wish, Commander. The time has come for us to begin the joining. I shall speak the words that have been said since the first. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand, vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten, and that one day we shall join you. From this moment forth, Agron, you are a Grey Warden. What's this, the sampler size? Are you trying to say something about my height? Huh? This is the goblet we've always used. Really? <laughs> Not bad. Make her help us all. From this moment forth, Anders, you are a Grey Warden. So we need to drink Darkspawn blood? That's it? That is it, yes. Well, all right. But if I wake up two weeks from now on a ship bound for Ravain in nothing but my small clothes and a tattoo on my forehead, I'm blaming you. He lives, Commander, and will awaken in time. From this moment forth, Myri, you are a Grey Warden. I have awaited this moment. Sorry, Myri. May the Maker watch over you now. Poor Myri. Open the doors! The Commander must be informed about the Deep Road's entrance. It could be their base of operation. You'd have the Wardens chase a rumor then, Captain. And even if it proves true, 
Unless the Pilgrim's path is cleared by the time your army assembles, they'll have nothing to eat but shoe leather. Garavel, Woolsey, the commander has had a long day. Woolsey says some merchants escaped the Darkspawn. They can reprovision you for a reasonable fee. And the vigil is yours. Take whatever weapons and armor you need. We'll be waiting when you're ready. Commander. This is Sir Garavel, the new captain of the guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the Wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. That is... disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. I talked with the Dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the Keep itself. The Deep Cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the Keep. Certainly. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians... Wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. These hunters, Colbert and... well, the other one, claimed to have stumbled across an entrance to the Deep Roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Wolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Not Weishaupt itself. I am from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. The Fereldons are a proud people. They are proud of you, especially. Had the First Warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak, at great personal risk. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that wardens are important, blight or no. No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. Very well, Commander. To business, then. Orlais sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. He did, but not to me. The wardens keep their own counsel. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? As much as you like, sir. Generally, the Keep's Seneschal takes care of day-to-day -day matters. If anything important arises, I'll alert you. We call her the Vigil. She's been around for a long spell. They say the Alamari Barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. 
They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. Ah! Who? Who's there? I was, uh, I was just keeping my nose to the dust. You know, watching out for the Schlitz. One of the lads here told me about the Schlitz. Said they're common in Ferelden. They, they lie on the ground, looking like ordinary pairs of pants. Until you turn around, that's when they... They strike! Pants that eat your eyeballs! After they're done with you, they just wander off on their unnatural pant legs! <laughs> Sod. Come on, I've been on the surface less than two years. I don't know what's up here. <sighs> that Jacob's gonna get it when I get my hands on him. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Is it? You've never thought about it? Does nobody ever leave the Wardens? It's just a question. There are worse things to be, I guess. I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping the tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. You know, there is one thing I miss about the tower. <laughs> my cat. Mr. Wiggums. He wasn't my cat, he was the tower's mouser. But he took a liking to me. There were days when that stupid cat was the only person I saw. Except for it not being a person. Still, I liked him. Poor Mr. Wiggums. He became possessed by a rage demon, but he did take out three Templars. Oh, I was never more proud. A toast to Mr. Wiggums, then. May he forever eat mice in the Fade. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. The Seneschal said it was your call, Commander. Technically, all the man's guilty of is theft. But who knows what else he might have come here to do. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the Blight and vanquisher of all evil. Aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Somehow I just thought that my father's murderer would be, uh, more impressive. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Your family was going to sell us out to the Orlesians. How could he? A Grey Warden stole into his estate and slaughtered him before I could even talk to him. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. That was the plan. Look, I don't know what happened with the Kuslans. It sounds like it was horrible. The entire war was. Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha! Ironic, isn't it? I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting. Scouting. Poisons. Why? What do you care? If you let me go... Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go... I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. I could lie, if you prefer. The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens here in my home. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? <laughs> you what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription. On the prisoner. 
No, absolutely not. Hang me first. You really want to howl as a Grey Warden? You are a very strange woman. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The Howe is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon Howe's vassals. Now they will be yours. Lieges and vassals are seldom of one mind, Commander. Some of these Lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthine. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against her or her heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Micker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbrecht... And so, the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. I cannot give what I do not possess. I've had... Occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. I would take this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbrecht. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. So you remember me, young Kuzland. Although you're not so young anymore. I swear to you and Andraste, I had no part in Howe's treachery. My concern isn't that, however. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbrecht. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Thank you, my liege. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done. But you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. Very well, Commander. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, Trade? Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. Not bleeding likely, in truth. Good men. Lousy spies. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. 
You need to head to the city then, and chase down a ghost. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Funny. Considering all the things that have been taken, it figures this would still be here. Good guess. That's her. My father hated my mother. He only dragged this painting out when my grandmother visited, which was not often. I'd be paraded before her like a soldier on inspection, and she would pick over every floor while father awaited his turn. I don't really know. Her family was wealthy. I remember that much. They wouldn't touch me with a ten-foot pole now, of course. I'd be as welcome there as a bad rash. Anyway, someone should take this down. I think it's staring at me. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The Vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. You heard the Commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead. We'll be back here. Dryer. She was... she was like a mother to me. We must save her. No. No, Adria. We have to help her. There must be some way. Adria. You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I... well... You hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it, first hand... Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you... You're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. I, the Orlesian lads, would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. You're too kind. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the Vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ha! Ah, Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest... ...and bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> ...finest armorer in Denerim. <laughs> I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! Providing arms and armor for common soldiers, oh, the indignity. 
If we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite? Viridium? Or are we back to bronze weapons? Stone clubs? Wade has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Samuel. Groundskeeper Samuel. Is that you? Who? Make his breath. If it isn't little Nate. I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. But Lady Delilah... Don't you know? She isn't dead, son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. Could we ask around the shops? Next time we're in Amaranthine? Thank you. I would be interested to know just what happened to her. Is this what I think it is? It is. That's the Howe Crest burned into the wood right there. This is my grandfather's bow. Or rather, my grandfather was the last to use it. It was originally made for an ancestor during the exalted marches. Not broken. I heard that only a how can enable the enchantment. I remember finding it before father sent me to the free marches. A shame for it to sit in storage. Thank you. It's good to have a part of my family's legacy again. Something to be proud of. Oh, look at the cute little kitty. He looks like Mr. Wiggums. Oh, but I don't know if I should keep him. We got into some dangerous scraps. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce a lot. You can stay in my pack. Just for a little while, yes? Looking for some company, honey pie. I'm always available for riveting conversations with fine women. Oh, here to investigate the chasm, are you? It's about time. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. Oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over a rise. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the Maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... like an egg. I like eggs. It looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the darkspawn appeared. Uh, more than a brood and less than a horde. They seemed occupied, like they had some place really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the Maker. The darkspawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, are we getting anything for our trouble? A whole sovereign. If there's ever a reason to fall into a darkspawn pit, here it is. Make her bless you. Ah, Warden Commander. I knew you'd come. You know an opportunity when it presents itself, no? I offer a partnership that would benefit us both. There have been problems with trade as I'm sure you're aware. However, my associates, through certain channels, are able to bring supplies into Amaranthine. There is some profit in this. And as the ruler of these lands, we believe you are entitled to a cut. Ah, I was afraid you might say that. It is your duty to uphold law and order in your lands, after all. Good day, Warden Commander. Ah. <sighs> Can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust. But the freedom is in there too. 
I may not have a choice about fighting the Darkspawn, but this is a step up for me. I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Maleficar, true or not, and executed me. The problem is that mages are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. Says the noble born on the right side of humanity. Uh, all I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. Mm. Maybe I'm closer to the dream than I imagined. Never mind me. Now and again I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile. That's all. Look, My pardon, sir. We'll I was paid a whole sovereign to give this letter to no you. Exceptions. I told him I did. There are easier ways of getting a message to the Commander of the Grey. Of course, Commander. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. This meeting itself is a great show of trust on my part. You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators. But to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. It will be done. Give me some time. Aye, about time you showed up. The Mayor, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here. Turns out you were right. The cash is here in Amaranthine. It is? You... you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Word of advice. Don't let him sweet-talk you. He's very good at that. Uh... I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages and the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. It is. It really is. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. So, uh, you think there's an apothecary around here somewhere? Uh, you could say that. I've tried those, but they only stop the itching for a few hours. Right. Uh, look, for the past few days, I've had this burning rash. The skin's actually got a sort of greenish look to it. I didn't touch anything! You know, I bet it's that Grey Warden stuff we had to drink. I'm special. Yeah, I'll just see if I can't find some nice minty balm somewhere in this town. It figures. Actually, there used to be another statue here, 
who was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. He died in the rebellion, helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. Don't bother. Nobody here will want to see it. There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callan had. Now it's all gone. And for what? For being on the wrong side of the war? For choosing poorly? Not too much pressure, right? I wonder what happened to the old statue. Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. Your yeah, statues of her pigeons. I don't want to look at it. Well, if it isn't the Warden Commander, how have you been? I suppose congratulations are in order. And you. I hear the Darkspawn are not retreating as they should. It sounds like the Wardens have their hands full. I'd offer to help, but I'm afraid my presence is required elsewhere. And by then you will no doubt have had this mess sorted out. <laughs> but we shall see. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage. But they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. The mages will never be free. The Chantry would never allow it. Our only hope for survival is to show them we can be trusted. Don't you remember what happened to the Circle in Ferelden? Do you want to give the Templars another excuse to call for the culling of all mages? This change cannot be forced. <sighs> this discussion will get us nowhere. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Inus, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the college. Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Inus is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason, something we could use on our side. But I can't waste any more time. Good luck to you, Warden Commander. And here I almost believed the infamous Anders wouldn't take the bait. Ha! Ah, yes. I suppose I should have known it would be you. You made a poor choice with this one, Commander. Anders will never submit, not to us and not to you. So far, yes. I'll make sure that this murderer is never a bother to anyone again. What? No, you can't arrest me! King Alistair allowed my conscription. The Chantra's authority supersedes the Crown in this matter. You cannot hide within the Grey Warden's ranks. Hardly surprising. The Grey Wardens have ever been a haven for criminals and Maleficar. I do not know how you inspire such loyalty, Anders. But it will avail you naught. Now you come with us. Mm. Excellent. I wonder if Nemea knew about this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. I... guess they do. Anyhow, let's go before someone else rushes in to waggle a finger at us. Doors busted down, skulls thumped, and vices preyed upon. But I have answers. I could not unearth the conspirators' identities. They are paranoid. But I know they meet at Old Stark's farm on the Ferival Plains. Make her be with you. See? Something I can do for you, friend. And who are you supposed to be that's asking? Oh, welcome, my lady. Haven't seen that fellow Christoph for almost a week now. Not sure where he went. His room's paid up to the end of the month. I guess he expected he'd be here a while. Of course. Here you go. It's the last room at the end of the hall. If he comes back and gets upset, however, it's on your head. My father used to tell me stories about the Black Marsh when I was young. He said evil magic killed everyone here. This was just before the rebellion. A great mystery at the time. They never found out what happened here. Once the monsters appeared, the marsh was abandoned, 
I used to dream of coming to the Black Marsh and setting things right. Little boy dreams. So I am. If someone had told me I'd end up here, I would have laughed at them. But times change. When I was in Kirkwall, I thought I would return to Ferelden to take command of my father's garrison. Now, here I am. A Grey Warden and fighting both Darkspawn and demons. Interesting. And the fun never ends, I suppose. Good to know. Anyway, the haunted marsh awaits. Dead. Kristoff's doing, maybe. That answers that, I suppose. The Darkspawn are definitely here. Yes, that is your Grey Warden. The mother told it to me that if he was lured to this place and slain, that in time you would come. And the mother, she was right. The mother is always right. The mother is she that sent me, she that wished you to come to hear this place. I, here before you, is the first, and I am bringing to you a message. The mother, she is not permitting you to further his plan, whether this you know or not. So she is sending you a gift. No. We have come to the fate as well. It cannot be this. As do I. This was not as she said. I am betrayed. Can never trust my mother either. Now I am being trapped in the fade with you. Ah, oh, I am the fool. I am thinking the mother. She cares not what happens to the first, so long as the Grey Warden is defeated. I will be leaving you to the children. I will be finding my own path back into the world. Back to the mother. Halt! Who enters the Black Marsh? Trapped. Then you're just as we are, locked in this endless nightmare. We've been here so long at her mercy. I almost forget what it was like before. There is a spirit that's come to free us. Perhaps you could help him. If only that were possible. The mansion will not protect you, fiend. Come out and face your crime. We aren't afraid of you any longer. The witch hides. Break down the door. Be cautious, my friends. The Baroness has power within her lair. And she well knows it. We rush in at our peril. And who comes now? More minions of the Baroness? Or yet more helpless souls she has tormented? I cannot say what a Grey Warden is, but clearly you are a stranger. Perhaps it is a sign. I am Justice. I have watched this place and seethed at the wrongs visited on these poor folk. And now I seek to aid them. Once we lived in the real world and the Baroness ruled over us. She took our children and used their blood to work dark and evil magic. And when we burned down her mansion, she cast one final spell that brought our spirits here. We've been trapped ever since, still under her rule. This spirit knows the Fade. If we help him, he might help us. I think that since the Baroness trapped these people here, that she's our best chance of getting out. Tell me, stranger. Will you help us in this righteous task? Being a Grey Warden appears to make you an able sort, and thus, your aid would be most welcome. Then we have the numbers to challenge the Baroness directly. Ooh, a direct challenge. I like the sound of that. Less talk, more killing. They just said she was an evil, powerful witch. Do, do we really want to antagonize her? Hmm. Now there's a thought. All right, you convince me. My intention is to storm the gate. Are you ready? 
Good people, we take the battle directly to the witch. For too long have her crimes gone unpunished. Now is the time to reclaim your freedom! My, my. All that shouting outside, and now you finally decided to barge in, without even a proper invitation. Foul sorceress. You will release these poor folk and submit yourself to justice. Justice? Is that what you're calling it? What of their punishment? Burning my home to the ground and me within it. Because you were stealing our children, using their blood to feed your vanity. As was my due. You lived on my land, I, your rightful ruler. Your blood was mine, just as your lives are now. What's this? The pathetic fools have managed to recruit yet more sympathizers? We are no longer alone, Baroness. Your reign ends here. As it happens, I am no longer alone either. My path back across the Vale lies in victory over you and your new allies. Then the Mother will pay for her treachery. Instead I should have chosen you, mortal? We must be ending this. Now! The Grey Warden, it is more dangerous than you know. Oh, as you wish, creature. Slay them and you shall have the reward you requested. Enough! The battle is joined! No! You fool! Why haven't you defeated them? They are too much. It must be sending me back through the veil. Now, before it is too late. Oh, I will sunder the veil all right. I'll send them all back. But you? Your life is going to provide the power. No! No! What is happening? No. This is the world of mortals. Beyond the veil. And this... This is... A mortal body of flesh. I am trapped within. The witch sundered the veil in her haste. All of us were drawn through. She has returned to this realm as well. Can you not feel it? The Baroness is nearby! You misunderstand. The Baroness, she is not as mortal as you are, or as were the villagers she kept trapped. There was such a mortal once, but now? That is a demon of pride. She assumed that role long ago to feed from the mortal she trapped. But here, in your world, here she will be quite something else. I do not know why I am in this body. It was not by choice, I assure you. The veil is sundered, and the tears must be closed lest they continue to spill demons out into this world. I can alter your weapons for a time, allowing them to drive back the Fade's magic. But if we are to deal with the Baroness, we must move swiftly. So this is the world of mortals. How very dull it seems. So immutable and unchanging. Yet, I am here. I have crossed the veil. 
The spirits will watch in envy as the mortals of this realm bow down before me. That will not happen, demon. Ah. It seems I was not the only one to be drawn here. How very tiresome. Is that so? We shall see, won't we? And so, it is done. For what it is worth, thank you. I have fulfilled my vow. May the victims of that woman's madness rest in peace, wherever they have gone to now. No, the spirits believe there is a place beyond the Fade, but we have no more answers to such things than you mortals. It seems I cannot return to the Fade. I am trapped here, in the body of this Grey Warden. There are memories within this poor man's mind. They are... they're difficult to see. But... he was a Grey Warden? He was... slain by the Darkspawn. The one called the First? And that was your pursuit when you were tricked into the Fade. Yes, I understand now. It seems I am at a loss. I know nothing of this world and have only a few memories of this Grey Warden to draw from. I do not wish to die. What shall I do, mortal? You seem to be a creature of good character, and you are of this world. Can you advise me? You mean continue this mortal's mission? As a Grey Warden? It was a Darkspawn who murdered this mortal most ignobly. And the ones that commanded it yet live. To avenge his death. Yes, that would be a purpose. Very well. I will join you, Grey Warden. If you will allow it. That is not my name. I have no name. Only a virtue to which I aspire. If I am to need a name, then use that. I am Justice. And for now, I am pleased to travel at your side, Grey Warden. Mother... It comes with sweet news, I hope. Tell the mother. The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked Wardens. They killed the first, killed him. Cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? Again, to hear the sweet call. We are all lost, but the day will come when the silence ends. <laughs> Even for me. Out of my way! I need to get out of here! No! No one can help me! I just need to get out of here! Uh, the elf! She makes the trees come alive! All we wanted was some easy money from the caravans, but... We... Make her help me! She's here! Gotta get away! Another scavenger here to prey on the misfortunes of others? No, you are too well armed. Here for me, then. You will not drive me from these forests. 
The Shems could not do it, the Darkspawn could not, and you will fare no better. Your kind have been hounding me for months! You killed my friends, and the merchants kidnapped my sister! The caravans are only the beginning. I want Sarani returned to me, or, or more will die. Deliver this message! Consider this a warning. Death. We spirits know no more of it than you do. What lies beyond is obscured, even to us. Can you tell me who these people were? They are unlike the others I have seen. The body I inhabit was familiar with that name. My memories say the Dalish were cast out. Unwelcome in almost every land. Why is that? How odd that mortals find so many differences to hate, when you have so very much in common. To one such as I, it is difficult to tell you apart. Are these similarities not worth rejoicing in? And yet, it happens anyhow. But then, I do not even understand demons. My entire existence is spent seeking out wrongs to right. Perhaps you are right. But what else am I if I'm not a seeker of justice? Enough. I wish to look at this no more. This place is scarred by pain. Many lives were lost, but these weapons seem out of place. Not all is as it seems. You're standing in my dirt. Don't be sorry, just move. That dirt was specially prepared for my plants. I only have to find the seeds now. It's just a matter of time, I'm sure. You've heard of me then? Read one of my books, have you? Win. What now? She's not going to try to get me to teach slack-jawed apprentices again, is she? She used to pester Aldred about his duty to the apprentices, when he just wanted to be left alone. No wonder he went crazy and tried to kill everyone. Uh-huh. So I have to drop everything and do what Wynne wants me to do. Hmm, it's been some time since the college was called together. Why now? No, I can't go. Not yet. I'm not leaving till I get the seeds of the northern prickleweed. I've been here too long just to give up. Hmm, I suppose another pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. And if you actually succeed, I'm sure I could scrounge up some kind of reward. You're looking for the seeds of a northern prickleweed. The plant has broad, dark green leaves with thorny stems and is most commonly found growing on rocky ground. Go on now. If I'm going to be travelling, I'll need to make preparations. Any luck? Did you find any northern prickleweed? Marvellous. Look at them. Oh, magnificent. Such a smooth seed coat. Like onyx. You, my friend, are a worker of miracles. Here, I whipped up some herbal remedies for you, and a list of instructions so you can recreate them if you like. And now it's time for me to leave. Perhaps our paths will cross again at a later date. Good luck. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look at me. Olaf, my name, came with friends to, to drive out... Away, the elf, but the dark spawn were too quick. We were ripped apart, biting claws and teeth from the darkness, and then I woke, flesh and bone and gristle under me, around me. Everyone dead. Dead, soft meat melting into the ground. I, I crawled away, came here. Can't stand to see it. No. No. Darkspawn came first. They slaughtered us, took our steel, brought it to the elven camp, tricked us, tricked the elf. Now, she thinks we are to blame. Hunts all in her rage while they watch. So all these people died over a misunderstanding? Maker, that's horrible. We have to stop her. Tell her she's wrong. Do you think she's back at her camp? We could try looking for her there. The Dark Ones are curious about you, too. They watch you as well as her. Can you feel them? Sister? I have a sister. Do I? Elf sister? 
No, we did not take her. Probably dead. Or eaten. Beneath. Around. From shadows. Am already dead. Am already gone. Make... make an end. Please. Why are you still here? I told you to stay away from me! I warned you! This place is not for you! I know a human crime when I see it. I've experienced more than enough of them. You will pay for repeating their lies. me alive. I will not go with you to some Shemlin magistrate. I won't bow to their rules. <laughs> Talk. You expect me to believe that. What of the weapons? Or my sister's disappearance? I wondered why anyone would discard the weapons. But you say the Darkspawn planted them? That would mean the Darkspawn killed my people and took my sister. Why would the Darkspawn do this? Are you saying Sarani will become one of them? I will not allow that. You? You want to find Sarani? Why? This elf should be brought to justice. Why should we assist her at all? Because she's a looker. What do you think her sister's like? Who? <whistles> oh, I, I mean, Darkspawn bad. My name is Valana, if you care for such things. Do you know where the Dark Spawn might dwell? There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the Dark Spawn there. So you are the commander of the Grey Wardens. Do not be frightened. Your injuries have been tended to. I apologize for what I must do. I do not wish to be your enemy. But now is not the time for this. Rest. done anything. I'm fine, Velana. It's not me he wants. I have to get you out before something bad happens. I don't want anyone else to be hurt. <sighs> yes. All right. Let me out and I'll take you home. The Darkspawn have your things. You can still get it all back if you're careful and clever. They're going to come back to check on you. You have to hurry. I don't know anything. But take this key. It... It opens a chest in the emissary's room. Maybe you'll find some answers there. I... I, I found it. They're coming! You have to go! Find a way out of the mines! Please! I can't just leave you! Sarani! Wait! You're the Warden Commander. I... would not have expected to meet you here. Did those bastards get you too? I had hoped you would avoid capture. Would be luckier than the rest of us. 
I was to help rebuild the Ferelden Wardens, just as you were. We were at Vigil's Keep less than a week when the Darkspawn came. I think I'm the only one left. The others are dead, or worse. There's no sense in regret. You must escape. The Darkspawn have some kind of plan for you, and it cannot be good. But listen, there is a Darkspawn here carrying a huge maul. He crushed my legs. He took my wedding ring. Please, Commander, slay him. Bring the ring to my wife, Nida, in Amaranthine. Tell her I died trying to make this world better. He wanted to make the world a better place? What an insipid line. Is that really supposed to make her feel better about his death? <sighs> Humans. Thank you, Commander. I make her turn his gaze on you. Monster! We must get to her. They're Darkspawn. They'll head underground to the Deep Roads. They always do. The home of the Children of Stone. Yes. They say Wardens can sense Darkspawn even deep beneath the ground. I would join the Grey Wardens. Give me the ability to hunt down these monsters in the deep. I am not afraid of death. You cannot mean to have this murderer join our ranks. She should not be allowed to escape justice so easily. I will pledge my service to you in exchange for the powers your order can grant. What say you? Ma Siranas. Shall we go then? I've had enough of this place. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. Kristoff. Oh, thank the Maker. I fear you are mistaken, mortal. Kristoff? Why are you... What has happened? Killed? But he's standing right here! Your husband is gone, and I inhabit this body now. His death will be avenged, I assure you. Avenged? You've desecrated his body, how dare you! It was not intentional. <laughs> there was... Get away from me! This body has memories of this woman. Aura is her name. I did not know she would come. I must rectify this somehow. Intentionally or not, I have done this woman a great disservice. My memories suggest her home is in Amaranthin. It will prey on me if we do not seek her out. There must be something that could be done to assuage her pain. Something. Alone. That could be frightening for her. Your presence might be a comfort. The Darkspawn call our attention. But should we get the chance to seek her out, I would be grateful. Commander, we need to talk. Dreams. You get them? Uh, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there, and whispered, it's time. And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her. Then the Darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. 
And could I please teach them to read and write? And, and one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. Huh. I do get other dreams about Darkspawn. Mostly shadows and murmuring, but nowhere scary. Thanks for listening, Commander. You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. His name was Padrick Howe. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. Told what? The joining is a secret. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. There isn't a blight now, either. That doesn't mean Grey Wardens aren't still needed. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are Darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. May I point out that you are all right? And remarkably lovely, if I'm allowed to say. Really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. And I'm glad to be around. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park. With Darkspawn. You're a giver. I'm very grateful. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander. For everything. This is a chest of belongings once owned by the man whose body I now inhabit. His essence lingers upon these objects like dust. I can even hear it whispering his name into the ether. In the Fade, nothing outlives the spirit that created it. Here, everything does. This world has fingerprints on top of fingerprints. Witness to beings long dead. How does one describe a sensation? I have no words for it. The man who owned these things was a great warden like yourself, yes? We intend to avenge him? Good. These Darkspawn are a cancer within the heart of this world. <sighs> but there is nothing that can be done just yet, is there? A world so full of beauty that beauty goes overlooked. I must see it with different eyes. Hey, I gotta... I gotta thank you for saving my hide today. There was that guy, and he was all, and I was, but then I got hit by an arrow, and then I fell over, and it was meep, but you were there, and you were all, <laughs> spectacular. I'm gonna drink to you, Commander. Here's to the, here's to the, <laughs> All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My, fam my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a serious matter. Danella, a soldier of the Vigil, abandoned her post and was caught three leagues away. She is charged with desertion. Even if it were not a time of war, the penalty would be death. I asked the old captain several times to release me from my oath. The Darkspawn are too near my family's farm. They need me, my lord. I'm no coward. You dishonor everyone who serves the Vigil. You think you are alone in having family under threat. The men are afire over this one. Danella is an accomplished scout, but desertion could destroy the army. I... I won't forget this, Commander. I'll be back. You have my word. 
Mercy is a fine thing. That armies are held together by discipline. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well. I place my trust in you. The Commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. This session of the Arling's Court is over. And Maker, help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. Thank the Maker you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. The Darkspawn are everywhere. You can see them from the city walls. But the Commander will spare no soldiers for our protection. Great times, Commander. The common folk are getting desperate. Maybe you can say a few words, calm them down, make them see reason. Barrel, you don't coddle a revolt, you put it down. Just give me the order. We will not be... Let the commander speak. We must take the keep, to be safe. Quiet! How dare you! The commander speaks sense. I'm going home. Wait! Truly well done. That was, well, inspirational. I don't know how you did that. Men, stand down. I'll be in the keep. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. You misunderstand. We are wrong about this world, there is beauty here. And the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. A friend? That is an interesting concept. I do not know how to respond to that. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? Not to a body that is already dead, surely. I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear, but it summons an ache I didn't know I had. Thank you. That is most kind. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. Commander, the ancestors favor us indeed. This is a dwarven barrier door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course. Delilah? Is that really you? Nathaniel! I had feared the worst. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else.
What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. I was so glad to get away from Father's evil. This life is so much better. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him without question. I had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother, let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back, once all this is done. Meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said Father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? What if I'd never left? I didn't have much choice, but still. I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. Bran, I don't know this person. Is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. I see. This... This must be about Keenan, then. I... Um... Sweetheart, could you give us a moment alone? Is... Is Keenan dead? He said that, did he? His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? He was gone for months at a time, often with no word. Was I supposed to wait forever? He forgets that I'm a living, breathing woman, not just a symbol of something he's fighting for. Love can only take you so far. Reflect upon the chant of light. Aura, please do not be alarmed. I do not wish to frighten you. You? You are the... in my husband's body. I am a spirit of justice. I meant your husband no harm. I would ease your distress had I the power. I knew when he left that this could happen. He told me. His father died a Grey Warden too. Tell me, is there anything I can do for you? Tell me, and I will do it. Avenge him, spirit. I will wait for his ashes a little longer, if it means that whoever did this to him will pay. The Darkspawn. Yes, I understand. And she is gone. Did I do the right thing? She loved this man a great deal, and he loved her. I envy what they had. I must think on this more. But another time, thank you for bringing me here. For a moment there, I thought I was really about to join the Legion of the Dead. I might have cracked a rib, but it's hard to be sure. Everything hurts. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to catch my breath. Anyway, I can't chat for long. I should probably go back, as foolish as that sounds, see if there's anything I can do. The old fortress of Calharol. There's something going on there. I think the Darkspawn are breeding an army. We must discover if there is truth to this statement. The Darkspawn cannot be left to carry out their plans. The Legion went to investigate, but Calharol proved too much for us. It was a massacre, and now I... I'm the only one left. The Darkspawn have changed. They're smart now. They destroyed the Legion. I saw them taking some of the women, and I wasn't about to stick around for that. There are many things much worse than death, and birthing Darkspawn day and night is probably the worst. But if the Darkspawn are really breeding an army, I can't stay here. I have to do something. Ah, that's convenient. The Ancestors must have had a hand in this. I'll show you where Kalharal is. Safety in numbers, yes? Excellent. With your help, destroying this nest is no longer impossible. Merely improbable. Oh, an optimist then. Let's not waste time. Kalharal awaits, and Darkspawn, when left to their own devices, 
get up to all kinds of nonsense. This... this is a spyglass. My friend Barlin told me about them, but I didn't know they were so shiny. He said that on the surface, a spyglass lets you see things that are leagues away. May I... keep it? I know I shouldn't. We're not supposed to have belongings in the Legion. As you say, Commander. Thank you. <sighs> It's Juka. He's hurt. Bad. S Sigrun? Yes, it's me. Be still and try not to talk. No. I feel my death upon me. And it is a sweet release. No! I have bandages. I can help. You must listen. The, the brute mothers. They're breeding. I saw an, an army. You... you must... you must stop them. But... but... beware the children. They are abominations. Even among Darkspawn. What? What children? Whose children? Forget. Give me. Ancestors look kindly on your brother. We have to finish what the Legion started. Those brood mothers need to be destroyed. The Legion got this far with no trouble. We got careless and complacent and stormed the main entrance up those stairs. It was a disaster. The Dark Spawn were waiting. They turned the tide's old defenses against us. We need to learn from the Legion's mistake. Avoid the main door. Most of the old Dwarven fortresses had hidden side entrances. I bet this one does too. We just need to find it. Rest the attack! Go! The loss is mine! The architect sends many, but does not come himself. He is a coward. I will kill you, and he will know that he has failed to destroy the love. He will know that the mother will tear him apart. <laughs> Who comes now? I can feel you, but you are no darkspawn. What trickery is he planning? You will die, as all who serve the architect will die. The mother demands it. We did it. If the rest of the Legion were alive, I know. I know they would honor you in some way. What's curious is that we seem to be caught between two factions of Darkspawn. I've never heard of such a thing. The Darkspawn are by nature vicious, and they have always fought amongst each other. But for there to be two organized factions, this is something else. Good. It's not just me, then. Something has changed in the Darkspawn, and I don't think I like it. Well, it's something to ponder. Especially when you need to be reminded that impending doom is always right around the corner. Oh, I'll probably disappear into the bowels of the Deep Roads, never to be seen again. One good thing about the Deep Roads is that you never run out of Darkspawn to fight. Go? With you? But that would go against my vow, and my plan to disappear into the Deep, unmourned and forgotten. Be a Grey Warden? Is that allowed? Can you be both part of the Legion and a Grey Warden? And I'd be more effective at killing the Darkspawn, won't I? Ha! Huh, how does one say no to this? I will follow you. You seem an alright sort, and I'll be better off with you at my back than alone. Let's go then, the Darkspawn await. Calhirol! Lost! The lost is lost! 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 Mother, be calm. Calm, yes. Once I was calm. 
Once mother listened to the beautiful call, felt it wash over her and inside her, and she was calm. But now there is no calm. The father took that away, and now he takes away Cal Hero. My poor pets in Cal Hero. The father knew I would send them against him. The father feared. <laughs> Calhirol is gone, but the mother still has her tricks. Many, many tricks. But what will the mother do? Do? I will laugh! <laughs> I owe you an apology. Well, one in particular, anyhow. When I returned from the free marches, I was certain my family was destroyed for being on the wrong side of the war. But my father did it to himself. No conspiracies, just one stupid, selfish man. I should have known better. I was an idiot, and like a child, I blamed you and the wardens. And here you've even proven to be a friend of sorts. Or am I reading that wrong too? Good. You know, when you conscripted me, I would not have thought I'd end up liking it. Anyway, let's be on our way. I don't want to take up more of your time. Wow. I've never seen so many books in my life. This one's a Navarran romance. Pretty spicy, too, from the looks of it. What's an Antivan milk sandwich? Oh. Oh, I see. I'll just put that back. I've only read one book. My friend Varlin taught me while we were in the Legion. He only had the one. He's dead now. He was a noble, once. From House Volney. I don't know why he ended up in the Legion. He wouldn't say. I saw death take my friends, knowing it would take him as well. I fought hard to keep us both alive. Varlin embraced the Legion's philosophy. That we were already dead. I couldn't let go like that. Survival. That's what matters. That's what Dust Town taught me. Oh, if I'm gonna get through all these books before the Darkspawn find me, I need to get started. Yeah, uh, you are gonna pay me, right? For all that arse whooping I do for you? A stipend? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, what's a stipend? Money! <laughs> now there's a word I understand. What an arrangement. You feed me and I get to take my frustrations out on the dark spawn. <laughs> anyway, can I have a pony? Nah, it's okay. I know you think I'm... I'm just... Bronca used to collect these little... Little horse statues. Back when... Back... Whoa. Everything's spinning. And you're... Very shiny. Oh, gonna go sit down now. What is that sound? Such beautiful singing. The stone within this ring. Is it lyrium? You found it. Just as I asked of you. I am most grateful. Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, Good can be found. What? This book is empty. Why have you given me this useless object? I can see that. Mm, I'm sure I'll find some use for this. The leather binding is quite adequate. Thank you. Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Sure, but Andraste was a real person once. Before she up and married the Maker, I mean. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing Majors to fight demons, or be made tranquil? No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker, but the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. That's so sweet of you. I'm all a tingle. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. 
I'm just saying. Where is he? I know he's here. Cough him up, Warden. You're not gonna pull the moss over my eyes. Ogren, get your hairy ass down here. Hang on to your beard, woman. Is this a conjugal visit? <laughs> Looking for Ogren to grease the old wheel? Don't lay a finger on me. You've done a lot of stupid things on a whim, but joining the Wardens... Ah, yeah. Didn't you say it would be... hot? We were role-playing. Look, I didn't sign up on a whim, all right? You kicked me out. You were just looking for an excuse. You kept trying to make me into something I'm not. I can't play house like you want me to. I'm only good at one thing, Fells, and it's killing. You had a good thing in the army. They respected you. Ah, Felsy. I finally got the old conqueror on straight, and I don't belong anywhere but here. Fine, Ogren, if that's what you want. The baby and I will just have to get by without you. I just end up being hit. She's a tiny thing, but packs a surprising wallop. And in this mood, she'd go straight for my danglers. Come on, there's Darkspawn waiting to be killed. What's this? A baby's plaything? Wait, you paid attention to what I said when I was drunk? Oh, that's special. Ooh, hey, wanna buy a bridge? Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> uh, just as well. The real one's poop. This is... <laughs> you make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. I envy you sometimes. Even the youngest human child knows of at least a dozen heroes of legend. These tales are taken for granted. They are so abundant. Oh, it makes me angry sometimes. We Dalish have lost most of our history and our legends. What we do remember, we hold dear. But does a human child value the tale of the Paragon Idukan as much as he does Dane and the Werewolf? Stories connect us to our past. They shape a people in profound ways. Without them, we are lost. I think I finally know what I will do with your gift. I will fill it with stories. These will be new stories for my people. Stories drawn from what I know, and what I've seen. Perhaps one day, they will be what connects my children and their children to their past. To me. I... I see now that this is a gift to be treasured. And I... I thank you. Commander, many of the Lords have gathered. The Darkspawn have fielded armies, and the nobles want to know how you will protect them. Shall I assemble them? Or do you need more time to strategize? I will send messengers at once. We've waited enough. Those who are late will just have to be filled in. Lord Edelbrecht, this is the Commander of the Greys Council, not yours. What will you do then, Commander? I've lost whole villages to the army... Army of Darkspawn. This is no... Commander! Commander! What is it, girl? A Darkspawn army is within sight of Amaranthine. Make her protect us. They're attacking the city? Some of the Vigil soldiers are still there. She won't fall easy. Our forces cannot move quickly enough, but a small band might make it in time. But that's... suicide. We must try. If anyone can turn the Darkspawn tide, it would be you, Commander. Fighting a horde of Darkspawn with almost certain death awaiting? Don't even think of leaving me here, Captain. Who do you want to take with you, Commander? I'm already dead. I have nothing to lose. Who else will you bring? As it should be. Our foes will pay heavily for their transgressions, this I swear. Who else will you bring? And here I thought I'd retire to the country with a plump wife and several nubile mistresses. <sighs> I suppose it'll have to wait. And so it is decided. I'll make sure the Vigil's ale supply is safe. <laughs> Leave a few darkspawn skulls for me to kick in, right? My family built that city over generations. Don't let it fall. May the wind be ever at your back, Commander. The rest of us will stay here. Make her protect you and hold you close, Commander.
bungling. Please, Grey Warden, save my family. My family's in the city. Please calm yourselves while I speak to the Warden Commander. Warden Commander, I am glad you arrived when you did, but I fear there is little that can be done now. I failed in my duty. But believe me, Warden Commander, there was no chance for success. A couple of nights ago, a swarm of, of gruesome creatures emerged from beneath the city. They spread pestilence and destroyed everything they touched. Then at dawn, the other Darkspawn attacked. Warden Commander, it's too late. Amaranthine is lost. The buildings might remain, but there will be few survivors so long after those creatures appeared. Their corruption is so virulent. At least a quarter of the city succumbed within the first day. Constable, there is a Darkspawn approaching, alone. Archers, take him down! Peace, do not be killing, only talk. Architect has a message for Grey Warden. The Mother's army, it marches to Vigil's Keep. She attacks now. The Architect, he sends me to warn you. You must save the Keep, then finish the Mother in her lair. The Architect wishes to have the Grey Warden's trust. He does not wish to see the Mother succeed. If we leave now, we may be able to make it back to the Vigil in time to save it. And what about the Darkspawn here? Soon, they will go to Vigil's keep as well. The Mother, she wants the keep destroyed utterly. Uh, the Darkspawn has a point. We cannot leave with this other army hot on our heels. The Constable says the city is lost. I say we destroy it, burn it, and all the Darkspawn within. Warden Commander, we have already lost Amaranthine. We can't lose the Vigil as well. No, no. If you stay, the Mother will get what she wants. I will go. I will do as the Grey Warden bids. Amaranthine, then. <sighs> the Darkspawn are never disorganized on their own. Something must be leading them. If we eliminate the Darkspawn leadership, we can go about finding survivors. Good luck to you. And make her watch over us all. Warden Commander, we've received word of another wave of Darkspawn approaching the city. They will be here within a day. Most of the survivors are taking refuge in the Chantry. The militia has set up a base of operations there. You can rest and resupply there. In the meantime, my men and I will search for more survivors. Warden Commander, come quickly. The Darkspawn are still breaking through. It's not the gates that are the problem. They're coming from the inn. May God bless you, Warden Commander. Commander, the Darkspawn are retreating. They are being tended to. By the Maker's mercy, only a few were infected by the Darkspawn. The Architect's messenger has given us directions to the Mother's lair. We must pursue her. Commander, what should we do with the messenger? It shall be as you say. Maker, watch over you, Commander. And so we meet again. No, Uther. That is not how this must begin. I owe you an apology, Commander. When last we met, I intended to explain... myself. Fate, however, intervened. I restrained you, only to prevent the misunderstanding... that occurred with the rest of your order. Misunderstanding? <laughs> is that what you call it? I sent the Withered to ask for the Grey Warden's help. I should have anticipated that you might view our approach as an attack. I am rarely able to judge how your kind will react. It was most unfortunate. The Grey Wardens that were brought to me were already dead. I took their blood just as I took yours, because I had little choice. 
Things have not gone as I planned. I only ask that you hear me out. Should you still wish to slay me afterwards, you may try. My kind has ever been driven to seek out the old gods. This is our nature. When we find one, a blight is begun. Each time we attack your surface lands and you fight back until we are defeated. To break the cycle, my brethren must be freed of their compulsion. For that, I need Grey Warden blood. In order to become what you are, you drink the blood of my kind. To transform. Similarly, we must transform. I have created a version of your joining that uses the blood of Grey Wardens. You take the taint into yourself. What we take is your resistance. That is how my brethren are freed. In your blood lies the key to their immunity against the call of the old gods. I like my blood where it is, in my veins. Once they are freed, the Darkspawn think for themselves, they speak, they act. Some, however, have reacted poorly. They are flawed and they rage against me. The Mother gathers them to stop me, as she seeks to stop you. I cannot defeat the Mother alone, and I cannot free the Darkspawn unless she is defeated. Our goals are the same. Kill this creature now, lest it make things worse than they already are. Do what is right, and do not waver. This reeks of stupid. The last thing we need is more Darkspawn thinking for themselves. Help me kill the Mother. And after it is done, I will leave to continue my work. I thought it little different from your order's use of Darkspawn blood. We both do what we must in response to the Blight. The first blood came from Uther, freely given. She was a Grey Warden, as you are, and joined us many years ago. And how would they know when the choice has been deprived of them? Without choice, there is only one path before them, and that leads to the Blight. I believe there is another way. How very unfortunate. But I cannot blame you. You are as bound to your nature as we are to ours. I am sorry, Uther. It appears that I will not be able to keep my promise after all. You will have to forgive me, Commander, for fighting to preserve my destiny. If it isn't the hero of the hour. <laughs> the slayer of the mighty father, come to claim a reward. <laughs> oh, what a delicious day. They just get bigger and uglier, don't they? This is the mother, surely. A disgusting thing of evil and hate. By the ancestors. Do all brood mothers smell this bad? Am I not beautiful? <laughs> Has the Grey Warden come now to slay the mother too? Will she join the father in oblivion? He called himself Architect, but that did not change what he was. He said he wanted to free us, but all he brought us was silence. Ah, dreadful silence! But now the father is gone. The mother can take her children deep into the earth and care for them, safe and sound. Then the silence ends here. Perhaps we will hear the song again when we die. Oh, let it come. Let it come. 